Welcome to section 4.1.5. Um, this is our last section on the tangent ratio and it's titled, for my purposes, using the tangent ratio and seeing triangles. Big question, how do I use the tangent ratio to find the height of difficult to measure things like flagpoles, cell towers, mountains, buildings, and redwood trees? Anything that is difficult to measure, we can use this for. Now, a couple little reviews real quick. First one, remember, the first step you're going to do is you're going to pick your angle and label your sides. I've given you some examples. Here's a, the angle that they picked in the first one. Opposite side, adjacent side, and hypotenuse. Remember the hypotenuse and the adjacent touch the angle side and the opposite is always across from it. When I switch the angle, they just switch the opposite and adjacent switch sides because this is now opposite the angle. And this is now adjacent to the angle. Okay, after you do that, step two, we're not going to put a plaque up here for it, but uh, step two would be to pick the correct trigonometry formula, but we don't have, but what, we only have one now, so we're going to use the tangent formula. Remember, the formula is the tangent of the angle equals the opposite side over the adjacent. To make it simple and make it two fractions easy to multiply, we went ahead and put it over one for the use in this class. In question 41, they gave us a question about this girl and she's got, uh, she's visiting the Statue of Liberty. It says, Lindy gets a nosebleed whenever she is 300 feet above the ground. And she gives us some information. She wants to know if it's safe for her to go up. And so here's the information she gives us. She says she found a spot directly under the torch. So right here, I'm gonna say right here. And she measured, and then measured 42 feet away. So she went 42 feet away. And determined that the angle up to the torch was 82 degrees. So here's where we're going to say, I'm just going to complete my triangle. There we go. So the angle up to the torch was 82 degrees. Um, it also tells her that when she's measuring this, she's standing. So she's standing here, and there's her face, very bad face. There's her eye, let's give her some hair, and she's standing. And this is not completely to scale, but it tells us that the distance from her eye to the ground is five feet, which means also over here that that is also going to be five feet. Now, wants to know if it's going to be safe for her, and so I see a triangle here, and I see a right triangle because it's horizontal to the ground, straight up to the top. And the magic number for her is 300 feet. That's her limit. So, we're going to find this measurement here. I'm going to follow the directions. Now, I want you to think about this. We only know really two or three pieces of information. We only really know the angle and how far it is to directly underneath it. We don't have to know anything else really other than the fact that since she's standing we've got to have a little five feet there. So let's go ahead and label our sides for this angle. See across from that is going to be the hypotenuse, this is going to be the opposite, and this is going to be the adjacent. Now set up our ratio I'm just writing these in to make it a little faster and easier for you. The tangent of 82 degrees needs to equal y over 42. Okay, and I'm going to put that over 1. I go onto my calculator, and as always, I check my mode, and it is in degree mode, so I'm okay. And I'm going to put tangent of 82 degrees in here. And that's going to be 7.1154. And if I cross multiply, I'm just going to go ahead and multiply this big long number times 42. Times 42, when I cross multiply, I get 
point eight four five five equals y. Okay, so I don't have to divide anything else at this point because this is just one y. I'm going to give an approximate answer that y is about 298.8 feet. Now, that's y. That's this distance right here. But this horizon line here is just 5 feet off the ground. So we need to take this and add 5 to it. Don't have enough room on the bottom here, but plus 5 equals 303.8, roughly. So this equals about 303.8. So the question is, is it safe for her? Um, I would say that it's kind of close and kind of close to call, so I don't know. But 303.8 feet up here, maybe she could come here instead. But this looks like if 300 is truly her limit, that she will not have enough to do it. Now, the next part of this lesson, we took you into the gym and we asked you to measure some items that were up on the wall. For example, like the clock. So the clock was over here. And you were down here on the ground. We made a visual triangle. Don't need that part. We could measure this angle, and we were standing, so we knew we had to add a little bit that was at the bottom, this measurement right here. Now, this was all the same as your problem. So just think for a moment about what we're able to do now. If we have a measurement, this measurement and the angle, we can actually tell how tall it is. We can also use the Pythagorean theorem then to tell the distance from the object. So we could do, um, see this is the adjacent side, so we could do the adjacent side squared plus the height squared equals the c squared. And we could solve that. And so this gives us great possibilities. For example, if I want to tell how tall a cell tower is, I don't have to go up to it. I, I mean, go up to the top of it and drop a tape measure. I can just basically measure the distance from the center bottom of it out a ways and then take a measure angleman up and I'll be able to tell how tall it is. I hope this helps and good luck.